Hello and welcome to The Abandoned Planet, which is a demo which is currently available on Steam. The game is due out sometime in 2023. It's uh, about an astronaut who is suddenly hurled through a wormhole and becomes stranded on a planet. But where is she? Where are all the inhabitants of the planet? And how is she going to get back home? Solve the puzzle and piece together the mystery in a throwback retro inspired point and click adventure. Sounds brilliant. I like the look of this. It's got um, some really, really nice pixel arty graphics, which is always a good selling point. Um, it's just a demo, but this is like a beta version, which is a little bit extended. So we'll see how far we can get. We'll give it about 20 minutes and see how, how far we can get in the abandoned planet. So it's saying it's got nice chunky pixel art graphics, but the actual uh, menu screen is quite high res. It's got a bit of a contrast with the modern yeah, user interface and the uh, retro graphics. I think that's the best of both worlds. I don't think that's a problem really. Uh, so this is a game by Dexter Team Games, published by published by Snap Break. Uh, they've produced another game called Dexter Stardust, which uh, I've also got a copy of now, so I'll be playing that and maybe reviewing it as well. But let's get into it. Let's see what the abandoned planet has to offer for us. Let's go. New game. Yes, please. Okay, so we're going to use WASD to get around. That looks of it. We've got three verbs, examine, use, pick up, enter and exit. It doesn't look like we can change them, or it's not telling us we can change them. So it's nice and, it's nice and simple. Uh, we can look in our inventory, we've got a journal. I wonder if that's like a hint system. Uh, we can toggle the map, and you can pause the game, and we can reveal hotspots, or I like it when we can do that. That makes life a bit easier. Ooh, that's some retro music right there. I'm playing R type. It's R type! Oh no, it's not. Well, this is this has got bad straight away, hasn't it? Boof. How do you survive that, really? Really? Poof. Straight into the ground. He crashed. Was that a wormhole? Yes, it Where says on your Steam page it's a worm. You're in a you're in a pixely co uh, cockpit. Planet of the pixels, because your face isn't very pixely. No, you've gone for a nice modern uh, high res GUI, but you've gone for nice retro style pixel art graphics. I'm fine with it. It's fine. It's fine. You want to be able to see what you're clicking on when you come into your graphical user interface, don't you? Right, if I press uh, j journal, journal. Oh, what was journal? I forgot what it was. We've got a scanny thing. We've got a tricorder, we can scan things. Let's scan things. There's nothing interesting here. No. What does that do? This scanner can determine the elemental properties of any object. It uses a small cold fusion power cell. It could last a thousand years. Well, we're only playing for about 20 minutes, so we should be fine. Um, let's see. Hmm, interesting. The atmosphere on this planet is rich in oxygen. I'll be able to breathe outside. Woohoo, oxygen. That's one of my favorite things is oxygen. I don't think I'd want to live without it, really. I think it's great. Lovely oxygeniness. Right, we can either click on that, and I guess we can just press down. Oh, I like that. Quick and look at that. Quick and simple. Well, this pipe's getting used for something, isn't it? Something must be blocking the bait door. It's I'll an have elephant. To find another way out. I bet you it's an elephant. They're always doing that. Well. I'd imagine we're going to smash open this thing with the pipe, aren't we? There we go. Wow. <laughs> Boof. That door's gone. Okay, let's see what's outside. You wouldn't want to accidentally lean on that button, would you? Right, come on. Oh, I can't click to go out. Oh, look, look at that little poof it does. Poof, poof, poof. Right, we press the button to go where we want to go. Right, what can we do? We've got hot spots. We've got a dish. It's mostly broken off. 
it may come in handy. Lovely. It would take a crew working for a full month to get it back in space. Looks like I'm stuck here. Yeah, that's a bit like uh, that Buzz Lightyear movie, isn't it? Where they spend he spends generations trying to get back to Earth. Why don't we just stay here? It looks pretty leafy, green. We've got a bush here. Maybe we can eat this bush. did we get then? Axe. can axe a few questions. Why are we back in there? We don't need to be back in there. What have we got here? It's the port side thruster. It must have been torn off when I crashed through the trees. You know what, you did pretty well, because if that's the worst of the damage, you've done all right. What is this? That is the second biggest alien face thing with one red eye I've ever seen. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. Yeah, but you could axe it a little bit, couldn't you? Interesting. The bamboo is segmented. I cut it in a kind of receptacle. Oh, it's a cup. I cut it into a kind of cup. markings here. It's a blank spot on top, a V in the middle, and a blank spot on the bottom. Okay. Hmm. That seems puzzly, doesn't it? That seems puzzly. Can we try um, getting some water in this receptacle that we've made? I'm not thirsty. Hmm. That seems unusual. That seems like the, the way forward would be to do that. Nice simple little animation on the water there. That's probably two images cycling there. Lovely. Nice and simple. Same with the plants as well, that's probably like three three or four frames of animation tops, but it just does the job. Right, uh, bush. What was that we've got there? Some kind of metallic ring? It's a metallic ring. Interesting. There are some markings here. It's an upside down Y on top, then two blank spots. Hmm. Okay, so we have a Y there, and back before we had a, a V. Th that's great being able to just skip between the two. Really good user interface, this. Uh, no more hotspots, let's keep going. Ah, we have a thing. It's the never-ending pit from Stanley Parable. If you know, you know. Right. What have we got here? Hmm, the vine is covering up one of the holes. Well, we know what to do with the vine, don't we? Yes. Oh, hello. Alright, this... This feels dangerous. I'm going to go back a little bit. And go this way as well. Okay. <laughs> Seems convenient. Yep. Can we combine these two? These two things look like they should go together. I can't use those things together. No. Ah. So what was it, V at the top or Y at the top? It was V in the middle. And then we just, I guess we just cycle. Yeah, there we go. We cycle through till we get that one. Don't know what we've done, but we've... Oh! It's the clown's red nose and broken sword. It's stuck. It's stuck. It would be, wouldn't it? Let's whack it with the let's whack it with the axe. I can use the edge to pry it out. No, I just whack it. Oh, okay. There's nothing to do with it. Ah. There's nothing to do with it. Okay. What did we just get then? We got 
Did you oh that goes back that goes in the monkey head, doesn't it? Chuck's not gonna be happy with this. Oh. Alright, so there's buttons are now available. It's so nice to move around this adventure game. Okay. So I can't interact with anything on the screen right now. There's no hotspots. So this must be a clue to something else. There's a red blob and what looks like a radar map. I'll come back to that. Right, let's go into the um, the pit of doom. These holes seem. These holes seem. How did we get down? Hang on a minute. These holes seem to be. We were down there a minute ago, weren't we? Hey. <laughs> There's nothing interesting here. So we, we hit that with a, an axe and then we ended up in another room and then back here again. I don't think so. These holes seem to be letting light into an underground cavern. These holes seem to be letting light into an... Hmm. I'm a bit lost now because I'm pretty sure... I don't have any reason to do that. But you did it before, and then we were in a different room. Hmm. There's nothing we can interact with here. Nothing we can do with this. I'm guessing if there isn't um, an icon when we do it, we can't use any of the objects on it. Maybe we can. Let's try that. No, see, it won't even let us have attempt stuff like that. I can't do that. No, no, you can't. So what's the what's the what that's that for? We don't want to even collect any water. I'm not thirsty. I know you're not thirsty, but you've got a cup. You've got a cup. These holes seem to be letting light into an underground cavern. I know. I want to go in the. I want to go in your underground cavern. Can we scan? Maybe we're not really scanning anything yet, have we? There's nothing in. Right. Well, maybe the scanner is what what's needed. Let's scan this. I don't have any reason to do. Okay. Yeah, I was doing so well up to that point. It's the port side thruster. It must have been torn off when I crashed. The hmm, interesting. I'll be able to breathe out. I don't know what to do now. I'm doing that thing. I'm doing that thing you do in Mist where you get lost. I don't know what to do and you're just wandering about. Well, maybe I should stop there then. It's got to be something to do with this, these isn't holes it? Seem to be got to get down these holes. Can I tie a rope to this? I don't think so. Why not? Well, there you go, there's a bit of the demo. I might come back to it, but I'm going to call it a day for there. That is about 20 minutes, about 15 minutes actually, of the abandoned planet. Now, I have got stuck, but it doesn't mean that I'd, I'm not enjoying the game. I think that's that's good that I've got stuck, because it means I would come back to this another time. And maybe I'm going to go away, do that thing when you play adventure games, and go away, mull, mull it over, and then it might come to you, and then you think you'll try something else. And maybe it'll work. That's a sign of a good adventure game. Have we got a, a journal though? No, I can't really get, get to the journal. Was it J?